This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks fell for the second consecutive week as the market absorbed the October jobs report. Though Halloween is over, more tricks and treats may be in store for investors with the presidential election on Tuesday and the Federal Reserve meeting this coming Thursday. Although the markets rallied after the jobs report was released Friday morning, they fell for the week with the Dow down one-tenth of one percent and the S&P and the NASDAQ both down around 1.5%. Now, the economy only added 12,000 jobs in October, significantly less than the economists had expected, and much lower than the results in September. The job market would have appeared stronger without the impact of recent hurricanes and strikes in the manufacturing sector. In some ways, this was an ideal report for the market. The economy is still growing, but not so much that the Federal Reserve needs to maintain high interest rates. Stock market has been going nowhere fast since the Fed cut the federal funds rate by 50 basis points on September 18th. The problem is bond yields have been rising and tightening credit conditions ever since the Fed started easing credit conditions. The bond market seems to indicate that the Federal Reserve cut the Fed funds rate too much too soon. Indeed, the latest economic indicators have been strong with third quarter GDP growing at 2.8% to a new record high. And consumer spending was up 3.7%. That's the strongest quarterly increase in a year. So buckle up and get ready for the coming week with two major drivers of uncertainty and certain short-term volatility. While the Fed is likely to cut rates, it may only be by a quarter point, not by 50 basis points like they did at the prior meeting. Or perhaps they may not cut at all. Investors also have to contend with the U.S. presidential election on Tuesday, November 5th, which may not have a clear, immediate winner. The election outcome may not be known for several weeks, and markets, boy, do they hate uncertainty. But election uncertainty is no reason to exit the market. Election uncertainty is just another brick in the wall of worry that the market is constantly climbing. The outcome of the election, well, ultimately, it will be known. And the market, it'll resume its relentless move to new highs.